Hello. I'll demonstrate the new functionality which utilizes IFC-based information exchange to integrate MagicCat for Revit to building performance simulation tools such as Ida Ice. New version of MagicCat for Revit includes totally new functionalities which helps you to better cooperate and exchange information with the team performing energy efficiency or comfort studies by using external tools. By using the new MagicCAD functionalities, you can not only prepare your model to be sent to the external tool, but also you can read in the IFC file produced and therefore get accurate heating and cooling load information to be written to space parameters in your Revit project. Then you would have the needed information available where it's actually needed in your Revit spaces when you start selecting equipments to the installed to the spaces. This would save time compared to starting to go through emails and actual sheets to find the correct information. So here is our MEP model, which has a linked architectural model in it. Within that architectural model, we have rooms that have been defined. And of course, I have spaces in my MEP project which have been created based on those rooms. And from the identity data, we can see that the number and the name of the space match with the room number and the room name. Um, the buttons for this new feature can be found from Magic at Common um, by starting, to, starting the export here. Um, what we have to do is, first of all, select the uh, linked architectural model where to get the room information and then we'll have to define an ifc file to use as the export export file to ida ice here uh, we also have a possibility to validate the rooms and the spaces that we have in the project uh, we can see all the space numbers and the names and, and the room numbers and names uh, attached to those and of course on the errors page we'll see all the the spaces sorry the rooms that are not connected but once we click export magic and will start to export the ifc file and after that we can go and see how we further things in ida ice So once we've done our IFC export, we can move on to, to Ida Ice. And what I have here is my Ida Ice project with the uh, general information given to it, um, all the locations, climate information, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but we'll move on to, to floor plans. And down here we have the, the IFC option import that created IFC file. I have the export to IFC here. All the uh, settings look good. And what it eyes will now do is, is read that IFC file and create a model of that one as well, which we can see here. We can also check the uh, 3D model, uh, the different floor plans through the, uh, through the level selector here. We'll concentrate on the, the first floor now. So first, before we can run any sort of simulations, we have to create zones. I'll select those office spaces in there, make sure, all right, that looks good. You can create a new zone and it turns green. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's put those, that one in there, new zone, new zone zone and I'll do the rest of the first floor as well what kind of different scenarios for each of these spaces so once we've done that we can now turn to the simulation page and run the required simulations
you can run the simulations one by one heating cooling energy overheating all you can run all above calculations through here so now that we've run all the simulations we can see that they have dates and, and times and durations how long did it take to to run them and of course from the uh, summary tab we can see all the information for example here on the heating we have the the uh, room unit heat in watts and of course on the cooling side the uh, corresponding parameters here as well uh, room unit cooling supply airflow and and return airflow which will then be transferred to our our MEP project in order to do that we'll need to uh, uh, go to tools export to IFC and then select in an IFC file uh, which has to be new you can't embed information into it or or use the same IFC file that we used before so I'll just overwrite that one and once that is done we can move on to our MEP project and use BPS update to read that created IFC file here we have import.ifc so uh, what we see here first of all are the errors that we have here space numbers space names and just by looking at the names the numbers um, I'm checking that all right those are second and third floor spaces uh, of course, I don't have any information on them because I didn't run any, any calculations on them or simulations in this case. But from the changed elements tabs, I can see the spaces with their numbers and names and the, the changed values of which have been changed. I want to check all parameters, accept changes, and then the information is updated to these spaces. And since I'm using tags in here, I can see that the, the heating and cooling loads are, are here. So I have down at the energy analysis, design heating load, design cooling load, corresponding values on the, on the tag. And of course, the mechanical flow portion has the specified supply airflow and specified return airflow uh, of course if I happen to have the, uh, the uh, original uh, EDA ICE project which is this one here if you have access to that one you can read the EDA ICE properties from the MEP model even so I'll just take this properties tag in here and I'll see all the uh, all the uh, calculation results in here from Ada eyes as well with the general information advanced outline and all the results that we have in here 